of the Midway's nine million. When it came out of the vehicle assembly building with the shuttle assembled on top of it, the total weight was about 18 and a half million pounds. If it was going to go to pad 39A, it took it about eight hours to get there. Now when the crawler has the shuttle on top of it, its maximum speed is no more than a half a mile an hour. And although it does travel at such a lightning speed, it is still able to maintain its excellent fuel mileage of 32 feet to the gallon. <laughs> the structure you see in front of us is launch pad 39A. We used to launch mm -hmm. shovels with that structure. And right now it looks about 55% the same way it did when we were launching shuttles from that launch pad. This is SpaceX's launch pad and they do make the modifications to accommodate their needs. The building down there in front of us with SpaceX written on the oh, side of it, oh. inside of that building is where they assemble their heavy, their uh, Falcon 9 rockets. They assemble them horizontally. Up on top of the launch platform is the launch arm. It sits on rails. It comes down on those rails. The rails go right into the building. And when they're done assembling the rocket, they just put it on the launch arm. And then it goes back up to the top of the launch pad. And they will erect it either for the test firing of the rocket engines or for the actual launching of the rocket. Now the structure you see over in the pad that was used for the launching of the shuttle, the tallest one with a white mask on top of it is called the fixed service structure. That structure would have serviced the shuttle when it was out here on the launch pad and it was through that structure that the engineers, technicians, and the astronauts would have all had access to the shuttle. Now SpaceX is going to keep that structure and use it for that very same purpose that I mentioned. There's another structure to the, this side of it. They're in the process of tearing it down and that was called the rotating service structure. They would have brought the payload out here, put it inside of there into a clean room. Then when the shuttle came out, it would rotate around to the shuttle, line up with the payload bay, and they would open everything up and bring the payload out and put it into the shuttle.